Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Locofy video. One of the philosophies that Locofy was built on was that we could adapt to your existing workflows to make them even more efficient. And with this feature I'm about to walk you through, you can see that we're doing that now more than ever. If you and your team are already working with an existing design system, you can now import your code components into Locofy. Locofy will then reuse the code that you've already written and if you haven't written the code for your components, Locofy will help generate the code for you. Let me quickly walk you guys through the design that we will be converting into code. We've got a website here with a single page. It looks like a personal online banking platform. We're mostly using components for almost every layer over here. So you can see that the header is a component defined by that purple outline. You can see these cards here are also components, this line chart, this pie chart and all these cards in this horizontal row here. To the left of this frame, you will also see a frame that consists of all my master components over here. And in the next step, I'm going to show you how we're going to import the code components for all the components that you see over here. There are two ways to import your code components into Locofy. The first one is when you're creating a new project. Let's click on the drop down, click on create new. Here you can select your name, select your team, select the framework you're building, configure your code settings. And in the very last step, you can choose the method of how you want to import your component library. But if you already have an existing project, go back to the Locofy home screen and you'll see on the top here, a connect button. Once you click on that, you'll be presented with the same three methods. You can either import through CLI, GitHub or Storybook we have the most extensive support for CLI, and that's the method we would recommend going with. I now see some instructions on how to install the Locofy CLI and push my code. So let's jump into VS Code to do that. So I've got my Figma window open on the left and my VS Code on the right. In my VS Code, I've already opened up my Code Components folder. So let's take a quick look at my components. There are no restrictions as to what you can import into Locofy as long as it's a valid React component. We even support the use of external libraries. For example, in this line chart component over here, I'm using the eCharts library. So let's go ahead and follow the instructions that Locofy has provided. Let's copy the first command over here, paste it into my terminal. This is now installing the Locofy CLI. Okay, now let's run the next command to initialize the project. Okay, and let's search for the project over here, banking app one. Okay, great, so I have selected my project. What you'll see over here in the component folder is that a file called locify.config.js has been created over here. What I need to do is to define the relative path of all the components that we want to push to Locofy. So let me go ahead and paste the code here, save the file, and then all we need to do is run the last command here, Locofy push. Awesome, it looks like we're all done pushing the code to Locofy. Now let's head back to the Locofy plugin. Okay, we're now back in Figma. And if I scroll down to the bottom of these instructions, we can click on the blue button over here to continue. And you can see that Locofy is now automatically detecting the Figma components in the design and mapping them to the code components that I've just imported. On the left column over here, you'll see all the code components that we've imported. And on the right column over here, you'll see all the corresponding Figma components we recommend that your code component name and property names match your Figma components for optimal detection. So as you can see here, after a few seconds, local AI has now automatically mapped all my code components with all the Figma components that have been found in my design over here. One thing to note is that this import and mapping is a one-time effort. You only need to do this once. Alrighty, we are now ready to localify our design. So let's go ahead and click on the home page frame here and click on convert to code. All 
Okay, it looks like Localify has successfully converted the design into code. Let's check out the live prototype over here. So if I click on the card here and expand the code, you'll see that we're using the component code over here for account card. Same thing over here for account card. And if I scroll down, and let's check out this line chart. So yes, we are using the component code as well for the line chart and the pie chart over here. And one thing to note is that whatever interactions that you've already defined in your component code, Localify will fully preserve that. So for example, you can see that I have hover states in my line chart. If I click on this, that interaction is also saved. If I click on this, I click on this, that is also fully interactive. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the edit mode. On the left panel, you can see all the decisions that local AI has made. Let's go ahead and click on components and props and check out all the different components that Localify has detected. So on the right panel here, on the top half, you'll see these are the components that we've actually imported the code for. So things like the header, the account card, the line chart, the pie chart. The bottom half section over here, these are the components that we have yet to write the code for, but that's okay because Localify will help you generate the code. So to summarize, if you've already written the code for your components, Localify will reuse that code. If you have yet to write the code for some of your components, Localify can help you build and expand your design system by helping you generate the code for those components. That's all I had. Hopefully you guys followed along and successfully imported your code components. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, don't hesitate to reach out via email at support at or join our Discord community.